it's very important that every organisation who is uh, seeking assessment for the award that they receive all the support that they possibly can. No organisation seeks needs to do this on their own. They don't need to feel that they're isolated. There's plenty of support out there that's available to them. The most important person in that category is their local Public Health Wales workplace health specialist. They have all the knowledge, access to all the resources, uh, they've seen it and done it all before uh, and their role is to help organisations who, who are seeking uh, these awards. One of the things that we're looking for as assessors is how the organisation's framework of policies translate into practice. It's one thing to have a great policy, it's quite another thing sometimes to see that policy shaping what the organisation is actually doing. So if you took a very straightforward policy, for example, like tobacco, we would expect to see clearly signposted buildings. We would expect to see managers being trained in the implementation of the tobacco policy, who's responsible for speaking to folk if they're smoking in the wrong area or whatever. We're also very interested to see too that the policy has mechanisms within it to support people who want to stop because the workplace is a very important setting in which people can actually say, yeah, I'm going to change my lifestyle. I'm going to make that positive step and, and stop smoking. So the policy should have, this is what we do as an organisation. We've trained our managers, we support our staff. We're, we are a smoke-free organisation in the wholeness of the matter. We're interested in every member of the working group leading on points, sharing points, providing information, a very engaged process. Um, one person might take a lead on one point, they shouldn't take the lead on every point. We're interested in seeing all the way around the table who's leading, who's doing, who's experienced, who's found out about. That's the sort of stuff we're, we're interested in. One of the things that organisations shouldn't do is continuously reinvent the wheel and if there's good practice out there and if there are resources out there that can help and you know, lead organisations to ever better practice then our view is use it. If we're running programmes for example on promoting physical activity then see what other organisations are doing. Look at what organisations like Sustrans can advise in terms of healthy active ways to work. Look at what the British Heart Foundation are doing in terms of some of their lifestyle programmes that promote active workplaces, promote exercise through work. It's very easy sometimes in assessment processes like this for an organisation to be only showing all the brilliant things that it's done. And if that's the case, then that's truly wonderful. As assessors, we're really interested to identify where challenges have been encountered, how they've been overcome, how people have been involved, you know, how members of staff have helped to overcome some of those challenges. And no one, as it were, would be you know, facing any form of, of penalty for that, it would actually be commended because we're interested in what's this organisation like as a real life working organisation. Everything isn't perfect all of the time. So how have the challenges been faced? How have they been overcome? That's fantastic evidence for us. The whole process is, is based on the idea of success, success, success uh, and we want the organisations to achieve all that they're seeking to achieve. Um, it's also part of the developmental process as well so we hope that through the assessment itself the organisation can share all of the good things it's doing, it in effect can shine, um, it can tell us about some of the areas where it's faced some problems and, and they can be discussed and how those problems have been overcome can, can be uh, uh, discussed and shared and we learn from all of this as well. As assessors we're learning all the time and then we're able to take that learning and share it with other organisations with whom we're working, who we're assessing. So the idea of it being, you know, we're holding up a light into your 
face, you've got to answer the questions directly, purposefully and all the rest of it. That's absolutely not the case. It's a dialogue, it's a conversation, it's a two-way street process.